you have already have no debts, what would you guys say would be the best way to recapture cash flow and redirect savings more efficiently to leverage income, personal line of credit or cash value life insurance policy? I will definitely say, um, Prue, that for sure at some point we want to transition from banking products into cash value life insurance, right? Because I absolutely uh, love how I can just take my savings dollars and dramatically increase the, uh, the rates that I get. So let's say, for example, Prue, give me an example. Um, me personally, I'm putting 70 grand a year into my policy, right? But uh, let me think, let me use a smaller number. Let's say you save, this is what you do, you save 30 grand a year, okay? So we're just talking about savings, just savings. 30 grand a year, divide that by 12, it's 2,500 a month. Okay. Right now, that 30 grand is sitting in either a money market account, a CD, a savings account, a checking account, earning less than 1%, maybe 2%, nothing crazy. Right? If you moved it to an IBC, over a period of time, we can be earning 4 to 6% tax-free compounded interest forever. And then you can borrow from yourself and go put that money, that savings into other locations that uh, can earn maybe a matching rate of four to six or probably a little bit higher. So what I do personally is I have a account with uh, crypto.com, right? This is the future, okay? It's here to stay. Look, Visa has backed up crypto. Visa. There's no getting around this, right? It's here and it's here to stay. So I am embracing it for the time being. I'm very early in the game. Right, because this card, this this visa is is a fairly new thing. So crypto.com is a platform. It's an exchange. I compare it to say the stock market, but for cryptos. On this platform, what I do with my savings, the 30k, right? I'll say, uh, let's say we borrow half of that, borrow 15 grand out, right? And I put it into the the crypto. Now, I'm not an expert on crypto by any means, but what I do know is that they've created what's called a USDC coin, which is called a stable coin. A stable coin is a safe digital cryptocurrency that is matched to the US dollar. So the USDC is the United States dollar coin which is on the Ethereum network, which is backed by Coinbase. Coinbase goes through audits. Coinbase is very solvent, a very reliable, strong. They have the proper amount of coins reserves to match. They're not a, a fractional reserve lending like the banks do with money. And this is totally decentralized. And this US dollar coin, I can take my 15 grand and buy $15,000 worth of coins, USDC. Specifically on this platform, the crypto.com platform, I can do what's called staking, right? And I can earn 
up to 12% max with this credit card specifically, right? So I earn 12% on 15 grand. 15 grand times 12% is 1,800 dollars. Okay. You know what I could do? The earnings that I get from this, right, I can continue to feed the beast where every year I send 30K into this IBC account, take out 15, earn 12% over here, and keep compounding it. So year two, we do another 15. So that's 30 plus the 1800 times that by 12%, that's now in year two, $3,816. This is savings, 12% return, savings, right? And then what I do, right, is I can take, eventually, you build it up, I can take a portion of this principal and the, and the earnings, and I can either send it to this card. Remember, this is a this is like a credit card. This is like a this is literally like a debit card, and it comes with cash back rewards. And guess what? I earn three percent cash back on all purchases. I earn ten percent cash back on gift cards. So what I do is I buy gift cards at locations that I typically shop at. So I'm gonna get 10% cash back and 3% cash back in the form of cryptocurrency. So instead of cash back, it's cryptocurrency, which I can then take those cryptocurrencies and stake it and earn more, you know, roughly another 6% if I stake it. So pretty powerful right there. That's something simply that I do inside of my policy, right? That's a great way to recapture cost and Leverage your savings. This is money that I don't plan on touching, right? I don't plan on touching any of the money. That's why it's called savings. We don't touch it, so therefore we don't want to use it. So I don't want to, I don't want to put this money in the Bitcoin because it can go up and down and it can fluctuate. So what I do is I just buy a stable coin. I stake it, earn a high rate. I then pump it eventually into this card, stack it up, use it to pay bills. With this card specifically, I get a reimbursement, a 100% reimbursement on Spotify and Netflix, right? So Spotify, I think it's like $11.99 or $9.99 or something like that. So that's a say $120 or so a year and then the Netflix is also like 12 bucks or whatever it is. So I'm getting reimbursed almost 300 plus dollars plus I get cash back on the purchase. Right? Isn't that cool? So they're reimbursing me for two bills that I know I'm going to spend no matter what and I'm being reimbursed to just use their card. I'm being incentivized to just use their card. That is pretty freaking cool. So, if you wanna get more information on that, you can totally send me an email in regards to crypto for all my clients. You can send me information, uh, send me uh, questions on that. More than happy to uh, you know, refer you to the platform. You can ask me for my uh, referral um, to earn a reward when you get on the platform. If, if you sign up using my code, uh, you get 25 bucks when you first start. So I'll just go ahead and write my code. So you go to crypto.com and you put in the referral code 6R5KXC U N F K. So all lowercase letters, 
two numbers, 6R5KXCUNFK. You type that in, right? That's my uh, referral link there. To make it even easier, I'll go ahead and type it in. 